Vercel recently released Vercel KV, which is a durable Redis database powered by Upstash that can be used to store any sort of key value data for your application. While it's still in beta, it's already available for use. So in this video, let's take a look at how to use it with Nux3. And if you can't tell by how short this video is, it's pretty easy to set up. So the first step is actually creating our KV database. In Vercel's dashboard for your project, we can go storage, create a KV database, and once it's done, you want to grab this example.n file and grab the KV REST API URL and API token and add those to a .n file in our Nux project. And then the easiest way to set this up in a Nux project is using Nitro's storage layer called Unstorage, which provides a nice clean API for interacting with a bunch of different key value storage providers. We can link up Vercel KV in two easy steps. First, install at Vercel slash KV in our project. And then in our Nux config, we want to say Nitro, storage, data, and set the driver to Vercel KV. And this will automatically read those environment variables we set and connect to the database. And one note here is that here we're using a key of data. We can set this to anything, but you you'll see how we use this data property in the next steps. So now inside of any API route, we can use use storage, pass in data, and then call a bunch of different methods like get item or set item and interact with our KV database. So for example, if we just wanted a simple count variable that increments every time we hit an endpoint, it would look like this, where we go to our storage, get the current count, and then set it again, but increment count by one. And then let's just have this endpoint return it out. So if we hit this API route, we can see that count is being incremented, and every time we refresh, it keeps going up by one. If we go back to the Vercel dashboard, we can actually check this value in our KV database by saying get count, and that'll give us the current value. There's also other utilities that unstorage gives us to work with our data, where we can get all the keys, get the metadata, check if keys exist and a bunch of other stuff so I'll leave a link to the docs down below but I just want to show you how easy it is to work with it so if you've ever wanted to use a Redis database in your project it's pretty straightforward with this stack but ultimately would I use this it's still in beta and I know tech Twitter has been griping about the pricing but if you're getting started with a project I think it's one of the better options if you're already using Vercel it's already linked to your project you don't have to create an account there's good setup for the different environments and integrating it's pretty easy but I think the fact that with Nux we use Vercel KV through unstructured storage, it means it's pretty easy to swap out with another storage provider if you want to down the road. Since unstorage has a ton of different drivers, all we have to do is change our configuration and all of the get data or set data methods will still work the same. So overall, I like Vercel KV. I'll probably use it on the LearnView website. And I think this is the kind of DX I've come to expect for Vercel's products. And I'm excited to see where it goes in future releases. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in the next video.